Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Today I am inside a beautiful mountain forest and I'm about to embark on the Kumano Kodo pilgrimage. This is a pilgrimage that many people embark on to visit all of the many shrines that are in this area. And the main goal today is to head to Kumano Hongu Taisha, which is the head shrine of all of the Kumano shrines across Japan. And we're going to be seeing what kind of delicious foods people can try along the way. It's a little bit of a rainy day today, but I'm really excited to embark on this journey. Let's go. This path is so beautiful. And I have to say, it might even be more beautiful in the rain. It's so misty and very mysterious. And here, I've just come across a Jizo statue. These Jizo statue appear every once in a while along the path, and they're guardian deities of children and travelers. And we are travelers, so I'm going to give a little offering. And if you ever see one, you can give a little offering of a coin or anything really and make a little prayer. And we're on our way. It looks like there might be a place to eat up here. It says Soba Ogamiya. Let's go check it out. Looks like there's a little old house here. That was quite a walk, <laughs> but we're almost there. あ、こんにちは。はい、いらっしゃいませ。雨の中よう来てくれました。ありがとうございます。よろしくお願いします。はい、こちら客席になります。はい。どうぞ。わあ、スペースロックソコ。素敵なお店ですね。あ、ほと
This is really rare and these are really very expensive because they're hard to grow. Let's give it a try. Grating it down, it's unexpectedly like frothy. I didn't expect wasabi to look like that. Okay, let's leave it at that. So next, let's pour our soba broth into this little cup. And I must point out the cup is so cute. It looks um, handmade and inside there's a little paw print, which is very fitting because there's a lovely dog sitting right outside. <laughs> this looks delicious. Look at that. Fresh soba. So I'm gonna start with this one that's from Hokkaido. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of the wasabi inside of my broth. He said the way to eat it is, is up to you. So we're gonna put a little bit of this in. We're gonna put a little bit of the grated daikon horseradish. We'll put that in. And then let's dip our soba. Mmm. We've got a chilled dipping sauce. It's really good. You can, I believe the base is like a, a bonito flake soup base. It tastes so delicious. I love this kind of broth. Okay, now I want to try the handmade soba. He said to eat it with salt. Handmade, hand-grown, 100% buckwheat soba noodles. Very uncommon. It's actually normally partially flour, so let's enjoy the taste of buckwheat. Itadakimasu. And the salt allows you to just enjoy the flavor of the buckwheat. It's really nice. My first time eating soba like this. So good. All right, now it's time to try the tempura. Some lemon on top. Very fresh. I wanna try this gorgeous flower. This is a lovely presentation of various mountain herbs and vegetables. Can't wait to try this one. Let's dip it in the matcha salt. Here we go. Oh my goodness. So crispy. The lemon brings out so much flavor. A little bit of citrusy plus the matcha salt. Just a wonderful combination of flavors. That's a really good tempura. All right, I'm gonna continue enjoying this delicious soba in this wonderful little wooden forest restaurant. And then I'm gonna be on my way and continue our hike. <laughs> at Kumano Ko Shokudo, which is a restaurant that's built in a traditional house that's been refurbished, and they serve local foods from the Kumano region. Let's check it out. Oh, this is beautiful. Konnichiwa. Ah, konnichiwa. Koko sugoku steki no omise desu ne. Arigato gozaimasu. Eh, itsu koro dekita n desu ka? Koko wa 2018 nen ni open shimashita. that sounds really good. お待たせしました。鹿肉のローストドンですね。わあ。あ、すごいですね。え、これが鹿肉ですか? 
。すごいなんかローストビーフに見えますね。はい、あのちなみにこの地域では鹿肉ってよく食べられるんですか。そうですね。やっぱりその山あいというか熊野ってすごく山深い地域なので鹿とかも多いし獣害の被害もあるので漁師さんもわりかしたくさんいてでそういう人たちが取った鹿肉とかをまあ皆さん食べたりしてますね。なるほど、はい、じゃあ鹿ここだったら鹿がベストですね,ですね<笑>ありがとうございますはいゆっくりどうぞおお美味しそう So let's dig in Okay, well look at this egg yolk That looks so delicious いただきます Deer meat j i b i e with rice and runny egg yolk Here we go Mmm Wow, it's delicious.、Um, there's no gaminess whatsoever. It goes really well with the nice warm rice and that runny, delicious, creamy yolk. And also, this little bit of like kind of mayonnaise sauce, it adds like just another little bit of a refreshing, creamy flavor. All in all, a really hearty bite and so, so delicious. And it also comes with a little side soup, which is made of fresh local vegetables like bok choy and mushrooms and fresh milk. And it also looks really tasty. It smells really good. Let's try. That is really good. It's like a lovely, very light potage. Oh, and you can really taste like. Stewed onions in there. And the, the creaminess of the milk is so fantastic. This is a lovely set meal. And honestly, I was starving after such a long walk.、Um, but we still have a lot more walking to do. So I'm gonna finish off this meal, have a little rest, and then let's continue on our pilgrimage. <laughs> I have arrived at Yunomine Onsen. This is a really historical onsen town that was discovered 1800 years ago, and it's a really integral part of the Kumano Kodo pilgrimage, where people would come to cleanse their bodies in the hot springs before going to the shrines and praying to their deities. So, a really historical and beautiful place. But let's go find a little place to sit down and eat, maybe something sweet. Let's go. This place looks really cool. Let's go there. Wow, what a quaint little tea house. This is beautiful. And it looks like the menu is up here on the wall. They have a lot of different foods they have sobas, curry rice, beef bowls. But they also have drinks, and I'm here for a little sweet treat. So I'm quite tempted by this kinako mochi. So I'll get one of those. And I see a hot spring coffee. So I think I'd like to try that. Ooh, this looks interesting. It's the chuka chimaki. I think that this is a type of rice ball, and we'll see what it looks like. So I'm gonna get one of those. Here it is! I've just received the chuka chimaki. And I love it. It comes wrapped in some bamboo leaves. Actually, I think it's a bamboo skin, but very traditional looking and very cute. Ah, and it's really fun. It's kind of like unwrapping a present. And it's hot. The more you open it, the hotter it gets. Look at that! Sticky rice with what looks like little bits of veggies inside. Itadakimasu! Oh, that's really good. It is piping hot. The rice seems to be a mochi rice, so it's extra sticky, but still really fluffy. And I see what looks like a ginnan or a ginkgo nut. This is a lovely little snack. And again, wrapped up in these leaves, perfect for somebody who's in the middle of a pilgrimage. Now, let's wait for my sweet treat to come. Yay! I've just got my hot spring coffee in a lovely little 
handmade looking cup. And we have our mochi, which does not look the way I expected it to look. It looks kind of like it's in a soup. Apparently this coffee is actually made inside of the hot spring. That's really nice. Oh, it really warms you up after a long walk in the rain. I can't say that I really can tell that they made it in a hot spring, but just to think that it was made in a hot spring is probably enough for me. <laughs> now let's try the mochi, the kinako mochi, which looks so unusual. I love kinako, so more is always better. Ooh, that looks so good. I'm gonna take a bite, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. First of all, the first bite is not very sweet at all. So the mochi does not seem to be sweetened, but the kinako powder is sweet. So it gives it this lovely, delicately sweet, nutty flavor. And the mochi on the outside is a little bit, uh, you know, like, like a toasted marshmallow and the inside is fluffy. But let's take a little sip in here. I have no idea what the base is. When I put the kinako powder in, the broth or the, the tea, it became really, really creamy. It's quite tasty. This is the perfect rest stop after a long walk, but I still have a little bit more to go. So let's head to our final destination on the pilgrimage. final destination, the Kumano Hongu Taisha. And my feet are completely soaked. <laughs> this is a tough walk in the rain, but it was very, very satisfying. So let's go see our prayers. This was such a wonderful experience walking the Kumano Kodo pilgrimage, a pilgrimage that's been done for over a thousand years. And it's very humbling to think that I've been walking the same paths that people have walked for all of this time. It was great seeing all of the lovely restaurants along the way and eating all of the delicious food. And of course, it's a wonderful hike for anybody who loves hiking, but of course it is a really tough workout, so be prepared for that. If you enjoyed following me along my journey, Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you very soon in another video. And we have more to come from Wakayama. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.